Hello everybody, uh, this is Brother Luke, uh, Sin City Preacher. Uh, this is another Q&A video. And the question I received was posted on uh, a recent video I made uh, that was another Q&A. The question was, uh, what about Matthew chapter 7 when it says, uh, uh, ye shall know them by their fruit. So on that video, this brother uh, posted these questions. Uh, great video, uh, but I'm wrestling with an issue related, but distinct from this one. What about people who won't acknowledge sin is sin? Some say that a person who isn't willing to call a certain behavior that they are doing sinful, uh, they can't be saved. Not that they have to turn from it, but they do have to acknowledge it as sin. They would point to an abortion doctor, for example, who professes faith in Jesus, but thinks aborting is okay and right. What are your thoughts on this? I'm confused. And then uh, he goes on to say, uh, because on the other hand, there are some moral issues that even as Christians, we disagree on. Some Christians think reading Harry Potter is sinful, and others, like myself, do not view it as such. I would like to think most free grace Christians would say, I'm still saved even if my stance on Harry Potter, Potter is wrong. Interesting questions. Well, first, uh, I want, uh, brother, uh, you to know that I, I've really addressed this whole question of sin uh, in previous videos. I even have a playlist titled Sin. And uh, the, I, I suggest you watch that. I've got five or six videos on that. And just start from the beginning and go through it. And you'll really have a real complete understanding of how I see sin. Uh, but uh, also regarding uh, the, your question, uh, this came up recently last Sunday on our uh, show uh, Bible Talk with Brother Luke. Uh, Sister Tanya asked the question, well, what is sin? How do you define sin? So uh, I suggest you watch that also because I explain in great detail uh, what sin is. And, and if you've got a group of Christians in the same room and asked everybody, what is sin? Uh, you'd, you'd be surprised at different uh, uh, definitions and opinions on this subject. But, uh, so basically, uh, rather than trying to define what sin is, uh, I'll refer you to those other videos uh, where I discuss that in great detail. Uh, now, the question is, must we be aware of our sins? Um, I believe that uh, not only is sin not an issue uh, regarding getting saved, because uh, the sins of the whole world have already been paid for by Jesus, our Savior. When, when Jesus was dying on that cross, the sins of every person who's ever lived, past, present, future, all those sins were charged against Jesus Christ. The Bible says he became sin for us. All of our sins were charged to his account. So um, if you're watching this video right now, uh, your sins are all paid for. So the, the only issue between uh, man and God today is the question of life and death. Uh, will, you, will you die and then be... Uh, uh, judged to be mortal at the great white throne judgment, and therefore you will be die, die the second death in the lake of fire? Or will you receive life everlasting by putting your faith in Jesus Christ? Jesus, Jesus is the exclusive giver of eternal life. So you've got to believe that Jesus alone has the power to give you eternal life and trust him to receive it. And then you get life instead of death. 
But regarding sin, uh, sin is not part of the equation anymore for our salvation because all the sins have been paid for. So the question is, does a person have to even be aware that any particular activity or uh, in their life is uh, sinful? Uh, regarding salvation, no. Uh, but sin, of course, still has its consequences. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, I've made several videos on this. Uh, one titled, uh, What are the Consequences for uh, Sins with, on Christians? And uh, I'll, I'll try to concisely express it, that the, the sin is, is not why people go to heaven or hell. People who are in heaven have sinned. People who, in, who are in hell have sinned. They're all sinners, both groups. The difference between people in heaven and hell is not sin. The difference is faith in the Savior. And people in heaven haven't received eternal life because of their faith in our Savior. So, uh, I answered the question uh, in great detail, what are the consequences of our sin in a, in a um, series I did, uh, Biblical Christianity. Uh, we had a panel discussion on Biblical Christianity, and I think in parts three and four we talk about, answer the question, why should a Christian even care about sin then? If the sins are paid for and sins are not relevant for our salvation now, uh, then why should we even care if someone sins or not doesn't sin or does good works or does not do good works? And we go into great detail explaining the reasons that a person should want to stop sinning and, uh, and rather than living a sinful life, but uh, choose to to uh, follow Jesus, serve Jesus, you know, serve his fellow man, do good deeds, all these things. Why should a person even want to do those things? Well, we've discussed that in great detail in part three and four of my series, Biblical Christianity. Uh, but basically, the, the only consequences uh, for Christians today, are, if you have sin in your life, is that if you, for example, decide that uh, uh, you're going to give in to lustful thoughts and, and uh, have an extramarital affair, well, you're, you're probably going to end up uh, losing your marriage and maybe your family over it. Uh, if, you, if you decide that uh, you're going to become uh, dishonest and cook the books in a business, well, you know, you're, you're probably going to get discovered and end up uh, paying fines and maybe even going to prison because of these, these, this law-breaking. So uh, a person will still have, and if you have decided that you're going to do uh, uh, things that are sins against your own body, for example, uh, s s sex sins and, and uh, maybe unhealthy habits like smoking and drinking and drugs, uh, well, then uh, you'll suffer the consequences of bad health and maybe earlier death. So there are plenty of consequences for Christians who will uh, continue sinning. But it has nothing to do with whether we get saved or stay saved. Um, now, what if someone uh, disagrees with uh, particular behavior even being a sin? Uh, well, I guess I've already really clarified that. Uh, I, it's not going to affect a person, whether they, whether that abortion doctors, you know, I personally think that uh, abortion is a, is, is a, one of the most horrible, heinous acts that a person could perform. Uh, uh, I condemn the, the woman that has an abortion. I, I condemn the doctor that performs the abortion. But if the woman or the doctor felt it was perfectly okay, uh, uh, and, well, it's, in my opinion, it's still sinful. But as I said, what are the consequences for that sin? Well, it certainly doesn't mean that they're not going to have eternal life in heaven. But it, it does mean that uh, there are going to be other consequences. Uh, many women who've had abortions have had horrible guilt and for, for the rest of their lives. And so, so there's, there's still going to be consequences whether you uh, think someone, something is sinful or not. If you're, if you're a con 
and acting in a way that is contrary to what God desires for you, uh, then there's going to be uh, a negative effect on your life. All right, brother, so uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, watch all the Harry Potter you want. <laughs> Maybe at the judgment seat of Christ, uh, Jesus will say to you, uh, uh, well, I, I had some rewards for you that I was going to give you, but you wasted too much time on Harry Potter. You, you didn't get that reward because you spent too much time watching that. I don't know. All right, brother, I hope this is helpful to you. And uh, uh, let me see if I can stop the video now. And if, Oh, by the way, if anybody's watching this video and uh, you do not have eternal life, you can receive it right now as a free gift from Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus already paid for all your sins when he died on that cross. Uh, and, and he rose from the dead and he proving that he does have the power over life and death. And Jesus offers you life everlasting in heaven, in the, in the kingdom of God, with God, the angels, and all the saints. You'll have uh, joy and bliss forever and ever. You can receive it from Jesus Christ as a free gift if you just simply put all your faith in him. You see, salvation uh, is not earned by uh, anything you can do. Uh, everything man does to try to, you know, uh, please God, or just it just falls short. It, 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 the Bible says we all fall short of the glory of God. It's in, it's impossible for man to work his way to heaven. That's why it was necessary for God to become a man named Jesus Christ and die for our sins and then give us eternal life as a gift. So it's a gift that's offered to you now. There's no strings attached. There's only one thing you've got to do to receive it, and that is uh, understand that uh, you are incapable of getting to heaven on your own. And instead of putting your faith in your own performance, put your faith in the performance of Jesus Christ. He died for your sins. He offers you eternal life. You can receive it by putting your faith in him. I hope you do that. If you do, uh, please make a comment on the video. Uh, bless you all in the name of our great Savior God. His name is Jesus Christ.